Rain, rain. Such a contrast to last week. Look at this, can you see that? It's just absolutely awful. It's spitting, as we say it here in London. It's like a very annoying constant drizzle, like it's very fine mist. And my glasses are wet. But anyhow, I'm still out here folding and painting. This weekend is the officially, well, the first weekend of summer. Well, summer solstice is tomorrow, but I can already feel the energy of this summer portal. Even though you can't see it technically because of the rain. <laughs> Even though round the corner there is a spot under the bridge, roof, that I paint very often when it's raining. I'm kind of tired of it. Anyhow, Hello, my name is Airborne Mark. I'm a London-based street artist, passionate about painting paper. Do you remember the piece I painted with the spire here a few weeks ago, a month ago, two months ago? Unfortunately, I don't have a ladder, just this step. I'm not planning to paint really high and break my toe like a spire while he was doing it. But I'm hoping for the weather to clear up today so that I could have fun. Fun, fun, fun. I'm all about fun. I'm weird here because I'm out here folding and painting by myself. As you can see, everyone's at home. Sunday, raining. I have the whole East London for myself and I'm choosing the same spot. <gasps> Obviously. <sighs> well, the situation doesn't look good. I actually thought I had more paint. I have about less than a third of this uh, motion. This is not good. <sighs> actually, I haven't bought any more paint ever since I moved into my new place. So for the last few pieces, the squirrel, the dino, the butterflies in the jar, I've been using all the paint I have here. So the very first tip of the day is to conserve your motion paint. Start with the sketch and work around it with the background, I guess it's kind of obvious, but for you newcomers, graffiti newbies, might not be that obvious. Right, so the sketch is down. Can you tell what it is? Of course, a classic origami crane that's why there is no folding station today because it would be boring how many times have you seen me folding a classic origami crane right it's not it's not exciting anymore and uh, less work for me just to edit it and i can talk more here and the video will be as long as usual but anyway but also in terms of scope, I took out all the wall as there is something happening in the background, but not to the very last moment. But let's focus here. So today's challenge for myself personally is to figure out how to paint a reflection, the mirror image of the main piece. So I'm going to figure it out today. I've never painted it before, but that's why it's so nice and easy with a classic form to learn how to do it. But actually, we're going to learn it together. I'm going to teach myself, but also I'm going to tell you how I achieved it or I fucked it. I should have mulched it anyway. I haven't saved much paint, have I, right? The first tip of the day, to save the paint, I haven't saved much paint, right? But anyhow, on your knees, soldier.
So I'm watching the premiere of the last video of the origami squirrel. I have five people watching the live. So, you know, it's like uh, traveling, <laughs> traveling in time. Uh, so next week, as you're watching new video, you're watching me here. It's time travel, man. We discovered time travel. <laughs> I've been chilling, so the reflection is done, but I've been chilling for a change. Uh, you know, as you can see, origami crane, this is fairly easy for me as the origami guy, right? But the reflection, it's a learning curve, a challenge. So the challenge is that the furthest protruding parts of the crane in the reflection are being lost, they're being faint. Um, and this is personally a challenge for me because I paint very crisp and you know very sharp edges. In this territory, it's un uncharted waters. How I'm fainting it out is using the background color, but I don't have the matching background color here. We, um, so I'm using a near match, which is dark gray neutral. Maybe that's why it's not coming off so well. So you shouldn't have any clean, crisp edges. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to astro fat cap it from the bottom up, and then I'm going to astro fat cap it with, from the top down. As this area of the crane, I cast the most shadows, and this part is the darkest. So I hope by doing that, there will be a more subtle gradation uh, of the whole reflection. And also, it will disappear uh, in the wall, because I think it's slightly too strong. And as I said, I've never done it before. We are learning together. I'm teaching myself. I'm learning uh, by my mistakes, helping you understand what to do or what not to do. Well, we shall see. There is no turning back from here, right? Okay, I don't know whether you can tell the difference, but the rule is less is more. I don't want to fuck it up, obviously, because at this point you cannot undo it with control Z. Anyhow, I think it will really pop once I clean the edges with the background uh, motion that I left for this very matter. This is fun. Today is fun. Today I'm not stressing. It's really good. Simple, you know, sometimes going simple is good. And the sun is out. Okay, last stretch, the last wing, and I'm done. Well, for this stage.
Up. Just a realization, right? Look this way. No one's painting. Look that way. No one's painting. Now understand this is a legal spot in London, like this side, right? Not that side, but this is legal. Summer solstice. Officially the first day of summer tomorrow. And nobody's painting on a Sunday in summertime. I don't get it. This is the most exciting thing you could ever do. Just painting. Where did everyone go? Okay, and over here with a semi-dry roller with a background paint, what I'm going to do, I'm going to fade it away like so to give it this idea of, you know, reflection. Just, it needs to be subtle. It needs to be faint, right? It needs to be disappearing into the background, like so. And then I'm going to do this kind of a magic. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's working. <laughs> it's working. I think it's a bit too much. So I'm going to do this, you know, when you work with color pencils, or with pencil, sometimes you rub it in, you, like with hands, right, for certain effects. And similar here, right? I'm just kind of uh, blending it. Not too much. I think I'm fucking it up. It's not working, it's definitely too much. When it dries, I'm going to paint over it with background. It's all about experimentation. It's all about taking risks. It's all about managing risks. I think I fucked it. <laughs> And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some lights in the background. I have the image of it in my head. Hopefully it will work. But I want it to be tangled in blue lights. And that explains why you have some subtle blue reflections here. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm doing something. Trust me, bear with me till the end of the video. When I die, I'm a ride for the squad, not a ties in the hearse. I've been on a vibe kind of hard to describe. I'm in between, I'm good and it's fine, but I'm tired of the grind. Then I come alive in the night to realize I'm in the middle of the time of my life. I'm never so packed for the stack, never lied on the back. Got a bag from the way that I write it. Queen looking Tyson, do that ass survive, doing 80 to the house, then I hit it to the Do you know what's going on? because I don't, but I'm having fun. Painting so big for once. Astro Fat Cup and stuff. My lips feel big from the bit, take a sip till I pass out. Try and get grip, but it don't make sense. Cause you can lose life on this fast route. Yeah, turn thoughts to a cash cow. I might flip that to the glass house. I don't need the accolades, I'm in love with the chase. I just wanna eat, save a spot at the table. Beast with the slap, pin myself on the map.
Alrighty, Origami Classic Crane is finished. What an easy day. Chilling, taking it easy, not stressing, because I've painted these cranes so many times, I lost the count. They're kind of a trademark now, aren't they? So today I wanted to paint big and big. I painted. You rarely see me painting that big. I killed tons of paint and yeah, just made it work. You know, sometimes you need to try out new things to progress. Does this piece have a wow factor? What do you think? Does it need to have a wow factor? Well, the detail I'm most excited about in this piece is obviously the reflection. It was the most exciting thing to try out today. Um, the most important thing is fading it away as the protruding bits are further from the surface. And even though I didn't have the matching background color, I think I did a good job here. What do you think? Let me know. The, the most important thing here is to make sure there are corresponding converging lines over here. So as you can see, this fold matches this fold and so on and so forth. But it needs to be toned down literally. That's why the top is uh, nature white and here is really dark gray. Also, what I figured out to make it a bit different is these grays are warm grays and the grays I use on the top crane are the cold grays, right? So I'm very excited about this reflection and I might be adding reflection to my repertoire. Is it the word? Repertoire? Yes. Are you feeling it, guys? I think it was a good exercise. Obviously, I need to make it really challenging for myself sometimes too much. I think if I haven't told you what these are, fairy lights, you wouldn't know what's going on here. But most of the time you need to be willing to risk to fail. And today, well, I wouldn't say I failed because I had tons of fun and nobody actually assaulted me and stole my paint. It was quite empty here, which is very unusual for summer. Anyhow, um, you know, I might post just this section of the crane without the crazy background, but I, it was so good to be, you know, so open and expressive with all the lines and, and stuff. So definitely a joy today here uh, in East London. Obviously, there was no folding station today because this is a classic. However, I still have, as always, a tiny, tiny origami crane in here. Should I burn it? I hope you've enjoyed this video and I gave you some valuable tips on how to paint or how not to paint a reflection. It was a good learning experience for both of us. If you would like to learn more, more tips on my journey as I'm rediscovering painting through paper form, please do check out other videos on my channel. My name is Airborne Mark. I'm passionate about painting paper and as always, origami riots, folding all day, every day. I um, fucking don't know what I'm doing, dancing. Ooh, 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 and I'm out.